familiar sound in the south of England in 1940. But what was the story behind it? Reginald Mitchell was born at Butt Lane, Stoke-on-Trent, in 1895. The family then moved to Normacott. After attending Hanley Secondary School, he became an apprentice at Kerr Stewart and & Company and studied engineering at college in the evenings. On completing his apprenticeship, he applied for a job as a draftsman at Supermarine in Southampton. He was particularly interested in increasing the speed of aircraft and the company entered the Schneider Trophy race, which they won outright after winning for three successive years. The seaplane achieved a speed of 407 miles an hour and this was in 1931. Mitchell was awarded the CBE for his contribution. The Air Ministry became interested and asked RJ to design a fighter plane. Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with cancer in 1934. However, after an operation, he continued to work on the design. 23,000 machines were produced. Only a few now remain. Many reminders of his name can be found around Stoke-on-Trent and Southampton. This aircraft in Hanley Museum is being renovated at the moment. Mitchell died at the age of 42 in June 1937, before the true potential of the Spitfire was proved. Due to his early death, no fitting official recognition was given for the major contribution of his Spitfire in the Second World War.